Good afternoon and welcome to the University of Bristol. My name is Hugh Brady and I'm the Vice-Chancellor and President of the University. I have overall responsibility for running of the institution. It's a sort of a combination between Headmaster and Chief Executive. Um, I joined the University five years ago. Um, I'm a, a clinician scientist by, by background, so I uh, graduated as a medical doctor from uh, University College Dublin in Ireland, and then trained um, and specialized in nephrology, so kidney disease, dialysis, and transplantation at the University of Toronto. Um, most of my um, academic uh, research career was at Harvard Medical School uh, in Boston, and then I returned to Europe to lead uh, UCD in Dublin before keeping the very best wine until last, so taking um, over as Vice-Chancellor of the University of Bristol uh, about five years ago. What attracted me to Bristol? Uh, probably some of the uh, same things that attracted you to Bristol. It's a university, obviously one of the world's top research intensive and, and civic universities, but a university particularly with a great sense of combination of tradition with individuality and, and edge. Uh, this wonderful great hall in which we find ourselves today gives you that sense uh, of tradition. The people in it, including yourselves, hopefully give you an illustration of the diversity of our community at Bristol. For over a century, the university has attracted the brightest and best students from around the world, and virtually all of them have graduated on the stage behind me, as you will do in, uh, in the, the near future. When you arrived today, hopefully you got a little lapel badge. Did you get a, you got a badge? Um, and that, that so symbolic, uh, symbolizes the fact that you're now part of our learning community. The badge shows our coat of arms, which was granted uh, with the Royal Charter in 1909. And its symbols include uh, the open book of learning and the, the ship and the castle come from the medieval seal of the, uh, the city of Bristol. The University Mace today, so this is the University Mace behind me. Um, it also was decorated by those symbols and it was given to the university in 1910 for its first graduation ceremony and symbolizes our authority and responsibility in, in conferring degrees. And that mace will be on that stage when you graduate uh, from the university on completion of your studies. The university, very much like the city, uh, has a unique and a wonderful personality. It, it has a, a real independent and creative spirit, uh, an appetite for innovation and alternative points of view. Uh, Bristol, I hope you'll find, is brimming with, with vitality, with diversity, and, and you'll always find something surprising, something creative, and something different going on here. Our teaching and our research-rich curriculum is designed to challenge you to, to, and to, to broaden your horizons uh, so that you discover the reach of your full potential. And through our research, world-class research institutes and schools, we strive to break down barriers, to uh, realize new discoveries, and to translate fresh thinking into bold actions that benefit everyone. Now, students are at the very heart of our university, and we'll be, we'll be seeking your advice on the improvements that we're making over the years ahead. Students are represented at all levels of governance uh, and management in the university, and we listen very carefully to what you have to say. You join us at an exciting time. We are making or have launched a series of initiatives that are designed to further enhance uh, the quality of the student experience and student support at our university. For example, you'll have the opportunity not just to take that deep dive into your chosen subject, but also to join our Bristol Futures curriculum, which is designed to give you the opportunity to broaden your horizons 
and to strengthen your future career prospects through a range of innovative learning resources and extracurricular activities. You'll see major new investments in our student supports. Uh, for example, our student well-being services, which are open to all students, but also to our physical infrastructure, our IT infrastructure, and our sports facilities. Some of you will take to life at the University of Bristol like ducks to water. You won't have any problems. But for some of you, it undoubtedly will take somewhat longer to settle in, and that, that's, that's very normal. And this is true for postgraduates, just as it is for undergraduates. Some of you will undoubtedly experience some challenges during your time here. Life has a way of throwing the odd curveball, and that could be family issues, they could be physical health issues, or mental health issues, or financial pressures. And what I'd just say to you is that if you run into problems, you, you will be supported. At Bristol, there's always someone on hand to help. Both the university and the Students' Union have a range, a wide range of services designed to support you. So if you find yourself running into academic difficulties or other difficulties, uh, tell us early. Don't let it fester. And I'd say remember that it's a sign of strength and not of weakness to, to, to seek help. During your time at Bristol, we expect that you will learn as much outside of the classroom as you do inside of the classroom. The University and Students' Union offer a wide variety of clubs, of academic societies, of sports facilities, and volunteering opportunities. And I'd urge you to explore these opportunities and immerse yourselves in them. You'll learn so much uh, from each other. You'll have fun doing so. And you'll, you'll make friendships that should last a, a lifetime. To those of you who already have friends at Bristol, please go out of your way to include those who do not. If you, if you leave Bristol with the same friends that you entered with, you really will have missed an opportunity. Uh, to those of you who are from the UK, I, I'd encourage you to um, include and welcome our international students. Our university, just like our city, prides itself in having a global outlook. And we're privileged to welcome international students from well over 100 countries. So again, I just urge you to, to include those students, um, learn about their countries, learn about their uh, cultures, share your dreams and aspirations. And if you get to know each other, remember, over the decades ahead, you'll have somebody to visit and somebody to have dinner with in every city around the world. So please make the effort. You won't regret it. Some of you, I'm sure, are very outgoing and make friends really easily. But for most of you, you're probably a little bit shy. And, and uh, uh, just as when you entered your undergraduate studies, uh, coming to a new university can be a little bit daunting. I just ask you to remember that most university friendships just start with a very simple hello. In fact, and this might seem a little bit corny, um, I'm going to ask you right now, we're going to take two minutes, I'm going to ask you to say hello to the person to your right and to your left, even if you don't know them. Say who you are, what you're studying, why you came to Bristol, and what you hope to get out of it. And I'll be back to you in two minutes' time, okay? <laughs> Okay, hello. We're back. So again, I just, I just ask you, um, every lecture, every seminar, every tutorial, every laboratory, every field trip, just make the effort to say hello to the person to your right and to your left. 
what is the worst thing that can happen? You never want to see them again, and you don't have to. But actually, many friendships are born out of that simple hello that, that truly lasts a lifetime. So just, um, even if you're shy, make that effort. Finally, I'd encourage you to, um, to get to know our wonderful city. Uh, Bristol consistently ranks as one of the finest places to live in the UK. And unlike traditional campus universities, because we are a civic university, not a campus university, so unlike traditional campus universities, your lecture theatres and your seminar rooms and your laboratories are literally within a stone's throw of wonderful galleries, museums, theatres, music venues, uh, cafes, uh, shops, and sporting venues. And furthermore, we find ourselves partnering with the city and its institutions more and more. Many of your degree programs have learning opportunities with the city's cultural institutions, with its businesses and enterprises, and healthcare organizations, to name but a few. Uh, the university has a, a wide range of really innovative research partnerships with the uh, city and its institutions in areas such as transport, t telecommunications, and, and population health. And our students, very importantly, our students contribute to, so much to the city through their volunteering activity uh, during the academic year. So our university and our city are inextricably linked. They're part of the package. And the city adds so much to the University of Bristol experience. So I'd, I'd, again, I'd urge you to explore the city, get to know it, and enjoy it. On that note, we're going to now have a very short film featuring some faces that may become familiar both across the university and across the city during your time with us, and importantly, a message from the mayor of Bristol, Marvin Rees. So please look at the screen. Welcome to Bristol. 欢迎来到布里斯托. Welcome to Bristol. Aquaba. Welcome to Bristol. Welcome to Bristol. Welcome to Bristol. Welcome to Bristol. Caribou Bristol. Bienvenue à Bristol. Welcome to Bristol University. I'd love to offer a warm welcome to all the students that come into Bristol. They're a huge part of the city's life. They contribute to the energy, the vibrancy, the creativity, the innovation, all those things that people describe Bristol as being. It's absolutely an essential part of who we are. What I really love about Bristol is it's just so diverse and vibrant. You find food from all parts of the world. If there's a cuisine you like, you can get it here somewhere, I promise you. There's so many things here in Bristol, right on your doorstep. Working together, living together, studying together, it makes it easier for us all to be part of a mixed, diverse, but welcoming community. It's a big city, but with a small community feel. You'll find a really welcoming community who's really excited about you being part of it. So I'd really encourage students to explore the whole of Bristol, experience the fullness of what this place has to offer. Not just exploring what there is physically in terms of the parks and the history, but the diversity of cultures. 92 languages spoken in Bristol. We talk about 180 countries of origin. For the fullness of your development, interact with the world that is on your doorstep. And by doing that, you will become richer yourself, but also you will make the city richer. I'm a different person to when I first came, and it has actually increased my confidence. There's a really strong focus at the university to promote inclusivity, to help all students access their teaching without any barriers. Getting around in Bristol is really easy. There are lots of bus routes and there are loads of cycle lanes. You will never get bored in Bristol. There's just so much going on. At the Students' Union we have over 400 clubs, societies and sports clubs. This is a great way for students to engage in fun activities or organise campaigns for things that they believe in. There are lots of beautiful green spaces in Bristol to escape the city and it's really nice to go there and clear your mind. While you're here, think about your social life, think about your social networks, participate in physical activities, get out in the city and volunteer. Times are going to be challenging, that's what a degree is but you're going to learn so much. This is a fantastic platform, a fantastic opportunity. And we as a city will do everything we can to make sure that these are some of the best years of your life. Good, well this week, uh, 
you take your next steps on a, a journey of academic, uh, professional, and indeed personal discovery. And like all such adventures, what you get out of it will depend on what you put into it. So we look forward to supporting you and guiding you on your journey over the weeks, months, and years ahead. At the University of Bristol, we have a wonderful students' union uh, who work tirelessly to represent and support uh, students. And it's now my pleasure to welcome one of their seven sabbatical officers, Julius Ogayo, to the podium to welcome you. Julius. Mr. President and Vice Chancellor Sir, to my fellow students, good afternoon. My name is Julia Sogayo, and I'm from Kenya. I just completed my master's in public policy here at the University of Bristol, and I will be your international students officer at the University of Bristol Student Union. My role is to support international students to integrate into the University of Bristol community and to ensure that they have the best experience. And so I look forward to interacting with you over this year. And please feel free to chat me anytime. Also, you are free to add me in your social media accounts. I've said, or my role I've said as international students officer, that one does not mean that I only represent or maybe work for international students. As elected student leaders, the seven of us, all of us work together to ensure that students' issues are addressed. And so feel free to reach me out even if you are home student. It is exactly one year since I was seated in this arena just as you, the Great Wills Memorial Hall, as a new student in an occasion such as this, to welcome my cohort to the University of Bristol. I never imagined that I would stand here today to welcome the cohort of 2019-2020 new cohort and returning students having been elected the first international students officer seven months after my arrival to this university. Globally, University of Bristol is renowned for its academic excellence by the caliber of its graduates and a very dedicated and distinguished teaching and non-teaching staff. In this regard, the university continuously attracts talented students both within the UK and internationally because of its excellence and reputation. Therefore, I want to assure you, and especially those of you who are new to Bristol, that the university and the student union have faith in your academic capabilities, just as your families have in you, and that's why you are here. But hold, hold on and wait. I want to bring to your attention what you may not know about this university. Barely one month after arriving in the UK, and Bristol in particular, I was elected a course rep for my class, MSc Public Policy. And seven months later, I ran for the position of International Students Officer in March this year, and I won against five other worthy competitors whom some had been here for four years. What am I trying to say or to communicate here? In this university, you can achieve anything that you set yourself to achieve, regardless of your background, the duration you've been here, your gender, your race, your disability, or any other identity group you identify yourself with. Let not your background, identity, 
attitude or others' attitude limit your dreams, aspirations, and ambitions. You are here, you are equal to the task, and you can achieve all that you want. With over 400 student groups at the Student Union, Bristol is rich in clubs, societies, sports, student support framework, and a lovely community where anybody from any part of the world can find something or a group that will meet their other needs, such as making friends, getting involved in other extracurricular activities to develop your social networks, and to feel at home. We also provide volunteering and sustainability programs, an academic advice service, a letting agency, and of course, the cheapest Bristol bar. Also, we represent your views to the university through our seven elected full-time officers, myself included. Also, our part-time network chairs, faculty reps, and hundreds of course reps, course reps, here are your voice. We are there to represent your interests. In discharging our responsibility, we closely work with the university to ensure you have the best experience that you may wish to have while studying here. Whenever faced with any challenges, please feel free to engage the university staff, the student union, and fellow students, and I know you will get help. Also, I know the university and the union is open to new ideas and suggestions, and so please feel free to share with us through various touch points, because our main objective is to make University of Bristol home away from home. Besides academics, the city of Bristol is full of music, culture, art, political movements, community organize, organizing, science, engineering, and a fantastically diverse population. In my opinion, one of the worst things you could do while studying at Bristol is to leave Clifton. Is not to leave Clifton, sorry. While Clifton is very pleasant with its Victorian terraces and artisan bakeries, Bristol is so much more than Clifton. So go down the hill, explore Bristol's many green spaces, rows and rows of independent shops, markets, museums, communi and community events. Visit the famous Bristol Suspension Bridge, the Arborside, Bristol Zoo, to get the gist of what Bristol offers. Finally, as you embark on your academic work, I want to assure you that you made a great choice to come to Bristol. I know your expectations and those of your family and friends are high on what the University of Bristol will offer you at the end of your studies here. However, I want to challenge you today. What are you going to offer the University of Bristol in return? What contribution will you be proud of to have made after your stay in Bristol? Is it volunteering in the community? Exceptional academic research which will reconfigure human thinking and transform human life a thousand years to come? and or contribute in developing the student experience for the generations and cohorts coming after you. The power is in your hands. You can do just that from today. Lord Bilamoria of the UK House of Lords said, and I quote, luck is when hard work 
and determination meet opportunities. I repeat, luck is when hard work and determination meet opportunities. Your hard work has brought you to Bristol. The opportunities, endless opportunities are here to consider yourself lucky by the end of your studies in the University of Bristol. Thank you. Thank you, Julius. It just remains, uh, falls to me now to close uh, this event. I look forward to seeing you uh, around the campus and around the city over the weeks and months ahead. And of course, I'm really looking forward to seeing you on this stage at your graduation in the not too distant future. So please um, enjoy your time with us, work hard, uh, but have fun. And, and find your place in our Bristol community. So welcome to the University of Bristol family. Thank you. Thank you.